Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Splatoon 3. And apparently the little buddy found something. So let's go get this, whatever it is. There it is. Just a couple of fish eggs. I wonder if those respawn or something, because I... I closed the game and reopened it now. So it might have some new stuff for us. Also, we have so many things. So many things. Might actually better use some of the fish eggs or power eggs. That's the one. I don't know. I mean, there are fish eggs, but anyway. They're normally called power eggs, though. Uh, but let's see if we can find a few more things before we move on. There might be a few secrets to find that little buddy can help us with. Okay. Clear this out. And is there anything? Little buddy? Apparently not. Just gonna throw him out there again. How much is that one? 800. Well, we can't do that one. Well, that's a shame. Also, I think... Okay, that's just... Uh, those are just power eggs now. Um, let's throw you out here, maybe. Yep. Thanks, more for us trying to tell you something. Yep. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I was standing on top of it. Uh, there's also this over here that we can probably activate. Like that. And this is a rail. Going around this way. Anything else? Little buddy? I mean, there's probably more stuff if I look at the map. Because that whole area is green. Nothing over here, though. So we can leave this area alone. There's also blue flying around, which I don't think I need. But I could try to check it out. Ah, uh, what's the next level? Tread heavily. That sounds cool, especially with the weapon being the crab tank. Let's do it. I'm absolutely loving this. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm loving this a lot. Okay. Crab tank, let's go. Does it, is it just always active, or do I activate it? It's always active. Well, let's just go ahead and curl up with ZL so we can g climb up the wall. And now let's just take everything out. Everything. We're so powerful. We can also press R to shoot shots. Massive shots, that is. So we can hit more, more things all at once. Just like that. Is that all of it? Yes, it is. Nice, you splattered everything. But there's a cool bad guy behind this wall. And crab tanks are about to- wait, what? Oh my gosh. Whoa, watch your step. Okay, so let's take out as much as we can for up we're down here. I assume it's gonna become obvious how I'm supposed to do something else. Like climbing the wall, maybe? There's that stuff over there that I can knock off, apparently. That's cool. Oh, it's all the way along here. Cool. And I can jump somewhat, which is fine, because there's also a thing to catch us. Okay. B, press B to do a short hop. Okay. This is a very cool thing. It reminds me a lot of Mecha Bowser from... Or... Was it Mecha Bowser? I can't remember. Okay. That's an interesting switch. Also, I can't do anything about this right now, so I'm going to actually have to step back on this, I think. Right? No. What can I do? Oh, do I need to go into that little hole over there? Okay, if that's the way it's going to be. Go, 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 Okay, and now we go up, dodging everything, but also we need to take out everything at the same time. Take out all these boxes, take out you, so I don't die. Is that all of them? Oh, there's something in the face. Oh, take you out. I don't think I need to worry about ink. I was concerned about that for a second, but no, I don't think I have to worry about that. I can just shoot as much as I want. Oh. It's okay, we're able to look at the giant fears. The mighty crab tank. Where to go, CT? Now onward and upward. Oh boy, we're all the way up here. Oh, and I have to jump off of you. 
Wait for it, then jump, hop like you've never hopped before. Okay, fair enough. There we go, mission complete. It's a good thing it's giving us a lot of power eggs. Like a lot of power eggs. I have a feeling we're gonna need a lot of power eggs. Oh, hello, balloon. Hang on, 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 hang on. There we go, got it. Uh, so let's take a look around a little bit more. I think I'm gonna jump up to the highest point. Was that the highest point? Surely. Surely this is the highest point. Yeah, there we go. We can also open up this now, I believe, so let's do that. I think that means that that's the only thing left to hit with power rigs. Ah, uh, but this is a boss kettle, which we're probably gonna leave for a little bit longer. Because this is one of the important things. Uh, however, I might jump down here. Also, there is another thing below me. I think if I jump onto here, though... Yeah, there's a secret there. There was, there was a ring of things there. Okay, let's hit that. Now that's all of the things out of the way. Any other secrets? No, there's another one, isn't there? Yep, and it's 800. Okay, it's fine. I'll get them all, <laughs> eventually. Let's go to the next level. Getting lost in, in three easy steps. Navigate the maze to reach the goal. A maze? That's amazing. I'm probably going to get very lost. Or possibly shot. Oh, hello. Also, hang on, we can just go up on top of the wall. This seems a little bit cheaty. Oh, that's a thing, okay. Good thing I turned left when I started the maze, apparently. Also, how am I supposed to get that? I guess there's switches or something? Or something? No invisible, no ink visible platforms. Apparently. It's gonna sneak inside? Nope, okay. Well, this is getting difficult. Okay. Hello. Get rid of you. Anything back here? Just one of you. Box, and that loops back. So let's go back this way. Take the high ground. Surprise! Just gonna take you out since I can, I think. Just have to break your shield first. Take you out. Nothing there, but you are there. I feel like there's gonna be something out here. Yes, there was on the other side. Guess this wasn't the exit. Also, how am I supposed to get the other stuff then? Like, actually, if there's gonna be something to do that, there would have probably been obvious by now. Maybe there was a switch and I just didn't see it. Because it wants you to go through the maze. Or maybe I have to come back? I don't know. I doubt that I have to come back. Oh, this place looks cool. Very cool. Oh, this switch. Oh! What the whole maze? It's going vertical! Well, that makes sense now. That's actually really cool! You have to climb back up by swimming, and you have to swim all the way back. That makes sense as to why I can climb the walls now. But also, I should have been painting the ground more. And now I can get these, okay. See if I can get to the other one on the other side. That's so cool! This is such a cool angle to look at the same area. It's so cool! It's a so cool. <laughs> oh, this is just so cool. Also, that was a mistake jumping off the wall there, that's fine. Ah, uh, let's just paint that up. We'll paint this up, doesn't matter, one of them. And here's the exit. Which is the entrance, which is the exit. That's so cool. I 
I feel like it's hard to slow down to read the messages when I'm trying to go fast and get a good time. Oh well. How much do I have now? A fair bit. Okay, cool. Let's get this one and bring down the overall number of goop down. Okay. There's that there, so we can get back up now. Also, it looks like little buddy's running away from me. But I don't know if that's because there's any secrets or if he's just running, ru running away. I think he's just playing. Very happy. Oh, there's also that there. I didn't see that, apparently. Let me just uh, power that up and get rid of that. How did I not notice that earlier? I should have- I, I would have done that way earlier. There's a sea scroll. The lobby I've built doesn't have a single standout fe feature, because everything in there is feature worthy. If you don't have the greatest turf war experience ever, I'll eat the smaller of my two claws. Glenn Fiddler, President and CEO. Cool. Another point, but I don't know... Okay, how much does this take? 2,000. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing that yet. There's a few more levels I need to do, and possibly replay. Um... I guess I should just... go to the next level. Ooh, that looks really cool with that icon. Also, hey, the area actually says... all the secret things that we have here. So we actually have all of those. I guess. That's cool. Except I apparently don't have all the unknown parts here? Question mark? Oh, there! <laughs> right there. Hang on, I want to get that. Just make sure it doesn't have any extra reward for me. I want a reward. Give it to me. Okay, so it's just on the edge of over here. Nothing? Or am I still missing another tiny bit somewhere? Um... No, I think that's all of it. Unless it's underneath something, that, but that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have everything now. It's just showing that there, which is making me feel like there's something I'm missing, but no. Anyway, let's head back over to the site 2 and go to the next kettle. I like that we can jump between the areas like this. And like specifically pick where to go. The Ink Conversion Project. Reach the goal without running out of ink. I'm going to do a good job of this. Nothing's going to go wrong. Range Blaster, okay. But don't run out of ink. I guess you can't refill ink here, and I don't have little buddy to help me either. Why do you think what happened if you shoot the ink reel? Good things. Okay. That's gonna hit that. Cool. I mean, there might be ink refill somewhere. I have no idea where they're gonna go, but I can hit these things. I'm gonna try and hit multiple at the same time. No, I can't do it like that. Okay. Oh, that's working. Oh, but it's gone now. Okay. Maybe they're just going a straight line. That would make sense. I thought that they'd turn around or something. Probably could have thought about that a little bit more otherwise. I think that works out, though. Ah, uh, okay. That's a bad timing. Okay. Should have done it a little bit later than that. Because now I have to get up here without dying. Okay, it's fine. I don't have much left, though. Oh, and I need more. How can I do this? How can I do this? I don't have ink. Because every shot I take is a ton. What? Am I missing something? Because you can't refill the ink tank here. Yeah, I know. But how can I use less? How do I use less? 
Was that more or less? I don't know. Also, I need to get to that quickly. Just remembered that goes away. So maybe I can actually hit all of these in one shot, and that's what it wants me to do. So I should go to the one across over here and hit that. Right. That'll hit this one, and which will start the middle ones, which will lead to the end. So that's where I went wrong. I should have thought about that the first time through. Okay, what was that? Now I want to hit this at a better time so that it will hit all these. Like that. They never stood a chance. Also, that hits the thing as well. That hits the rail. Now I have plenty more. That makes way more sense now. How do I time that? I don't even know. Oh, and it's still going. Oh, it hits the end as well. So if I hurry up, I might actually be able to get it without using up more ink. There we go. Mission complete. That was cool. I just had to <laughs> be smart about it. And not just look at it without actually thinking. Turns out it helps if you think things through. Okay, well I don't quite have enough for that. Also, where did little buddy go? Did he go up? No, that's not possible. That's not possible. That's not possible. Not possible. <laughs> right? No? No, it can't be. No, I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Uh, anyway, I think this is the next kettle here. Considering we've done all the rest of them right. Yes. Switching things up. Oh, I like this. Splattershot Pro. Let's go. So hit the switches and reach the goal. It's got a good range on this. Hey, come back, power egg pack. Wow, that entire block just took off, huh? Yes, sir. Now we need to hit more switches. Oh, there it goes. Ah, the splat switches will send each block off to the end with its friends. Okay, I'm still worried about using too much ink now for some reason. That's funny. I'm assuming there's one on top of here? No. There's none on there. But there is, however, down here now. I like the atmosphere of this area. It feels kind of stealthy. For some reason, I almost felt the edge. Also, I like this color of ink. It's very nice. Hit that one. Uh, and that one. Oh, and that. And that. There's also this one over here. I'm assuming there's one underneath there. Yep. It was too predictable. Uh, nothing else. Nothing hidden off the edge. <laughs> That'd be a little bit rude. And I wouldn't expect that. Uh, but I would expect you. So let's take you out like that, and let's hit that. Hmm, I thought it, well, that was it. But there must be more hiding out there. Hiding out where? Are there more available now, or there's... Did I miss them? <laughs> or are they re they're, they're available now? Oh, I see, there's this. That makes sense, okay. Wait, that wasn't... Was that there before? I'm going crazy. Going actually crazy. There must be one under underneath this. Yep. Okay. Nice hiding spot. Nice hiding those tricky switches. That's all of them. Okay, fine. Okay, that makes more sense now. That's why I was not sure about that block, but now I understand. Okay, let's activate that, and try to follow it. Oh my goodness, it's going way up. Don't forget to hold B while swing up walls to surge. Oh my goodness, that felt really cool. Got the power egg pack back. Yay! All of that level was for one pack of eggs. One pack of power eggs. 
It took me two and a half minutes to get a pack of Parrix. That was a cool level, once I figured out what I missed. And now with that, we are now able to go to the boss. The future stares back. Cozy and Safe Factory, that's the name of the level. I just realized this is Cozy and Safe Factory. Ah, uh, okay. Fight your way to the exit. I'm getting a strong reading up ahead. It might be Gramps. Go check it out, Agent 3. Not so fast! Oh, really? You're pretty tough, I can tell. How about this? You call it quits, join my crew, and we'll split the treasure. You've got to be kidding me. Bye, you want to resolve this Splatland style, huh? Fine by me, dance battle to the death. Eels, get your wriggly butts over here. The eel deal. Fry. Hup, hup, hup. Let's dance. Oh my goodness, this is the... This is the thing. It's it's back, but it's not back. Oh my goodness. Right, here we come. Also, I have blue ink. Dance 100 eel vision. Oh my goodness, there are so many of them. There are so many of them. Let me just take them all out. Okay. Now we can climb up the side. Because we know this boss. Oh, hey, if you beat up the mask eels, they'll hit her instead of you. Oh, cool. Thank you for telling me. No, I don't know. What is this thing called? All right, all right. Not bad. You ready to feel the pain? This is the Octostomp, right? Now watch this. I'm pretty sure this is the Octostomp. Second dance... Moray Whirlpool. Let me just take all these out as best I can. Nice, nice. One more. There we go. Okay, up, 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 up. Hit you. There we go. This is a cool idea. <laughs> like, at first I was annoyed that this is what it was, but I now I like it. How you think you can treat my eels like this, shrimp? All you did was wake them up. I don't know. I'm fired it up. Firing it up now. Okay, cool. Final dance, great moray transformation. Oh my gosh! Did, I, did that work? I'm not sure if that worked. It might hit. It might have hit some of them. But it also hurt me, so... Pluses and minuses. God, what gives? Okay, good. Get rid of you. Now's your chance. Chance. Grr. You're way stronger than you look. But you haven't heard the last of Deep Cut. Bet you'll miss me, huh? Yeah, at first I always thought they were going to be just a nuisance. But it it's really cool <laughs> what they've done. Oh, the reading was coming from this thing. Well, we fought for it, so nab it anyway. Proceed to grab, I guess. That was really cool. <laughs> well, I guess there are two other places I need to go to, but that's going to take a while, so... Phew, that was great work, Agent 3, and you got this... thing. But not Gramps. It's not a thing this time, it's a thing. It's treasure, or at least we I think that's what it is. We can keep it here for now. This explains this unequable area. Copy! Do you copy? Over! Anyone listening? Do you read me? Over? It's Gramps! Gramps, where are you right now? Callie, Marie, my darlings, you're okay? Yep, we're okay. A-okay. Wait, we should be asking if you're okay. Are you okay, Gramps? 
Oh sure. I mean, I, I'm locked in some kind of dark room, which I guess ain't exactly ideal. I'll see if I can break out. Over. Don't do anything. Too rash. We're tracking your signal right now. And on our way. Call us if you need it. If, call us if anything happens. Phew, I'm so glad he's okay. Come on, let's take a look at the new readings from his signal. Agent 3, if you want to go back to a previous kettle, just open the menu. It might be useful at, useful at some point. Oh, it will. Oh, it really will. Also, apparently, we have a fair few sardinium. Ah, uh, what do I really want, though? Automatically marks nearby items, enemies, or your submerged in ink. Is that during levels or outside of levels? I'm just weird. Don't think I care about that uh, that much. Uh, I don't think I care about that that much either. So I'm going to work on this for now. Okay. Let's upgrade the splat bombs. And let's get the sensor. See what that does. I still love this progression chart. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's also check out the archive. Because we have log 2 now. The rise of civilization. Again! The surviving humans appointed scientists to lead their new society, believing that science would provide a wiser path forward. Fully empowered, these, uh, these scientists took on the momental... Monumental task of establishing a suitable ecosystem within this, the cavern. They dubbed this new society Altern Alterna and began the process of recreating the Earth they had once known. Of course, not even scientists are immune to nostalgia. The humans began constructing large scale 3D printing operations. This allowed them to re uh, recreate some of humanity's favorite artifacts within the confines of Alterna. Additionally, they created a, a robust information magnet <laughs> management system designed to incredibly record, indelib indelibly record all of humanity's precious knowledge. Such a sh system would naturally require some sort of reader keeper, re record, I can't read, record keeper, a computer that would, could auto anonymously observe and record data. The scientists achieved their aim with their, the development of Orca. Also known as the omniscient recording computer of Alterna. I can read sometimes, but it's, it, it, I get bad at reading when it's later at night. <laughs> so, anyway, I think we can actually get some more fish eggs, though, from over here. You really scoped this place out thoroughly. Here, Agent 1. And I made this map based on your work. Cool, got a sticker. I'm assuming that's because of... Looking at this whole area. So let's try and fill in the second area. This is really cool. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. There's one over here. I might just fill it up and then come back. Okay, I think that's most of the map done now. Let me just quickly look up here because there is also a thing down here that I didn't do before, apparently. Hit that one, number f has 400 for it. Okay, and that has a reward for us, cool. More pack of cards. Okay, and also I need to unlock this over here to complete the map as well, so let's go ahead and do that. Allowing us to move on to the next area. We could have done that earlier and checked out more of the areas of the map, but I want to do it progressively, somewhat. So let's fill in all the rest of this over here, as much as I can. If you walk along the edge of a platform, you're usually more likely to fill in more of the map by just walking around the edge. Also, it has the, like, icon of the, that the newscast use. Interesting. Just need to go through the middle here. Ah, and I missed one there and there. Need to go through the middle of this here, so let's do that. Like that, okay. Now it's just that one over there. As far as I can tell. So where is that? It's up there. How am I supposed to hit that? Am I just supposed to go down here, I suppose? Is that all of it? 
think so. I don't see anything else that's moving that I haven't filled in. So let's go back to site one and see if there's a, a reward for that now. Or it just might, it might just be that you fill in more map and you get more stuff. Okay, no, I, there is another thing here. Okay. Cool, another sticker. That's really, that's really cool. Anyway, so I guess now we can go to a new area, but I'm first going to also go get the rest of the the replays done with the different weapons because I want to get more fish eggs and just have more of the game cleared. So strong. Well, that's a lot faster. As far as I know. This weapon isn't great for combat, but it is also better at spreading ink on the ground, but it also uses up a lot of ink for its sub-weapon. Dually Squelches. It's quite strong and it's good for do dodge rolling. It's also nice to have a good splat bomb. New time. It felt a lot smoother. Bamboozler. <laughs> Hang on. Bamboozler. 14 Mark 1. It's a bit of a quick, strong... Ah, uh, what's it called? I can't remember what they're called, but the ones that they, like, charge up and shoot. A charger, that's the one. That would make sense, wouldn't it? It's quick and strong, and it's just really good. I really enjoy it. It's so nice for push like, taking out enemies with precision. Takes a bit to ink, though. But it is so satisfying in a fight. So satisfying. You just hold it for, like, a second and then blast everything in sight. Also doesn't seem that, uh, good for ink consumption. It just consumes it so much. But it is so worth it. Now, I didn't actually use the hero weapon for this level last time I came through here, but it makes sense now to have these walls here, if in case you need them, because you will probably need them. But the other thing about the hero's gear is that you have your little buddy, and it's extremely helpful to have your little buddy active on one of these soakers, just so he can just keep it active forever, basically. And that is extremely helpful with this part of the level, because you can activate this one, this little pyramid, and it just stays active for the whole time. It just depends on how good your weapon is upgraded, to depend on how things go in the rest of the fights. But it, if it's not leveled up as much as you want it to be, then probably use the Blob Lobber, I'd recommend. It's also helpful to have Little Buddy at the end of the level as well. Just to activate this. Well, I'm probably still going to make it go faster. New record. Cool. Ink brush. This is an interesting weapon for this level, I feel. Because ink brushes are good for combat more than some things. Like this platforming, like hitting the target stuff isn't as helpful, but it's good for covering ground with ink and taking out enemies in close range, but far range isn't really its thing for hitting these platforms. 
And I guess that's why it has the burst bombs with it. So I can just deal with that from a distance. But it, it takes a lot more ink to do that, I guess. Or not that much. It's also good to have them for going quickly and covering the ground behind you. I guess it also uses a lot of ink as well, just to do anything. Anything. Guess that works. Jet Squelcher. It's a strong ranged weapon. I'm interested. I'm interested to see how it's going to work on rails with the stuff that is far away moving. It's also got burst bomb, which is helps with this level as well. Also, I just noticed the background in this area looks really cool. Okay, that's a little bit slower in those ones. Yeah, overall pretty good, and it reduces the necessity of burst bombs. You can just use the main weapon itself. <laughs> that's a pretty good record. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Nautilus 47. It's interesting because this is a charge-up weapon, but it's probably got a pretty good range and power. Like, really good range and power. Yeah, this feels very strange to have a charge weapon for this level specifically. Not bad, though. So far. Oh, hang on. That was a little bit closer, but it can charge up somewhat well enough in a little, like a, a, a small tap. A lightly held tap. Yeah, pretty good. Again, doesn't have to use the burst bombs. And it works out quite well. well. Feels a bit strange for this level though. Stranger than the other one. And there we go, that's all of the secondary weapons, second and third weapons for every level. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.